You bring up the last two decades, and we all know that in different facets, globalization has been going on for the last 100 years or so in different ways. But why specifically focus on the last two decades? What is significant about post 9-11 America? Sure. Well, I think on the one hand, we have just seen you know, an exponential increase in the amount of interaction. It's hard to remember, but you know, up through the 1970s, there were capital controls, financial markets weren't really that integrated. You know, the internet, uh, you know, once again, it's like Google only started operating in the 1990s. And even production systems, you know, they were largely national up through the 1990s. And so all of those things, those networks of globalization have really expanded. And, you know, in our book, we really highlight this moment in September 11th, 2001, where the U.S. is confronted by the fact that these networks are being used against it in a way that it had never imagined. And that the state then turns and understands that these maps, these structures, they actually create an opportunity for the government to use those networks against its adversaries. And so it turns to the networks uh, like the SWIFT system, which is a really important part of the global banking networks, to, to find out about what its adversaries are doing and then also eventually exclude people from it. And these networks become increasingly used, whether it's in the kind of the response to 9-11, but also even today in the Russia sanctions. It's a very similar set of stories.